Tim, Mark Few has had the luxury of having one of the best point guards in the country in Jalen Suggs, but he also has the best shooter in the country, and that is Corey Kispert. I mean, he is flawless with this mechanics and also his delivery. Yeah, well said, Cam. You know, every time he shoots the ball, it looks like it's going in because the mechanics are absolutely perfect. Watch how he finds space on this play. It's like, all right, I'm kind of open on the wing, but I'm just going to run to the corner here, and I'm going to be wide open. Cam, you could disagree with me on this. I think he's a lottery pick. And the way that the NBA has changed, he's so valuable because defenses have to hug him, and he's able to create other space for his teammates. And I think when we watch the rest of this, this is almost like his mixtape to show you more that he's more than a shooter. Like, this is a big-time move right here. I know you're playing St. Mary's, so it's not like you're being guarded by the Denver Nuggets, but still this is a big-time isolation play. No, if you disagree that Corey Kispert is not a lottery pick, then at me, at me, Cameron Smith, or at Tim Doyle. And let's talk about this thing because this kid is a lottery pick. And we know that basketball, especially in the NBA, is all about shooting. If you have shooters that can create for themselves and also off of screens, as we see here with Kispert just moving without the basketball, then you draft those guys high because he can be plugged in into any system right now for an NBA team and play major minutes because he can shoot the basketball and he has great size. He's six, seven, Tim. So you have a six, seven shooter that can get you buckets and also create for himself and others. You got to draft him in the lottery. Yeah. I'm happy that we're on the same page and because look what Duncan Robinson has done to the heat and how he opens them up on the offensive end. That's how I would be looking at it from a GM standpoint. No, I don't think you draft him in the top five because I don't think he changes an organization. But like Kyle Korver did for, you know, it seems like 20 plus years, he spaces the floor so well. But like you see here in the videos, like he's got a little something to his game. Like he can put it on the floor yeah. enough. And when you're that good a shooter, well, everyone's going to come out and hug you, get two feet above the three point line guarding you, that you actually don't have to be that good with the ball. You just have to be an average. It actually makes you seem like you're a better player overall if you could just put the ball on the floor just even a little bit. Yeah, and I see a lot of J.J. Redick in his game, but here's a name that I'm going to throw out that I think fits Kispert more. I see some Klay Thompson in his game, how he's able to create in those tight spaces, use a couple of dribbles just to get to his shot or get to the lane and finish. There's a lot of Klay in Corey Kispert's game. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, I mean, from an offensive standpoint, we saw him against Virginia this year go off against the Cavaliers, and he hardly dribbled in that game. That's like a Klay Thompson special. The one thing that the next level calls for is you got to be able to defend. And if you can't defend, you got to be able to at least fake it. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be awful. Offensively, the kid's a pro right now. It's going to be athleticism and defense at the next level.